it's very interesting to watch the clouds moving in the sky. Can anybody guess the reason for the clouds to move? Yes, you guessed it right. It is due to the blowing of wind. What is wind? Moving of air is called wind. If so, what is air? In today's topic, we are going to learn about what is air and its properties. Air is a mixture of different gases. Earth's atmosphere is made of many gases. Atmosphere means the area that is surrounding the blue planet Earth. It has 78% of nitrogen and 21% of oxygen. The rest one percentage is of gases like neon, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, etc. Can anybody see air? No, but we can feel the air. In this picture, we can make out that it is windy as the branches and leaves of the tree are moving. Properties of air. Air is everywhere. It is all around us and every living being need air to live. We cannot see air. We cannot touch even, but we can feel it. Air has no color and it has no shape. Air occupies space. It takes the shape of the things we fill it with, like tires of vehicles, football, balloon, etc. Air has weight. If we lift a football, we can feel its weight. Take two air balloons, fill one balloon with air and weigh them. You will find the balloon filled with air is heavier. This shows air has weight. Air is also needed for burning. For this, take two candles and fix it on the table. Light both the candles and cover one candle with a glass tumbler. What happens? After some time, you will see the candle covered by the glass tumbler goes off. Why? Because it could not get air to burn. A thing can keep burning only if it gets air. From this, we come to a conclusion, air is needed for burning. Air is of three different types. Wind. When the air is moving, it is called wind. It blows in one direction at a time. Activities like parachute gliding, kite flying, Working of windmill is possible with the help of wind. It also helps in carrying pollens and seeds from one place to another. Thus, new plants are grown in far off places too. We can use the energy of wind to produce electricity with the help of windmill. Breeze is the second type of air. When the wind blows gently, we call it as a breeze. Storm. When there is a strong wind, it is called a storm. A storm is very harmful. Strong winds with thunder and lightning cause storms, hurricanes, tornado and typhoons. Air is useful in many ways. As we said before, we fill air in cycles, car tires, etc. Hot air balloons, aeroplanes and helicopters make use of air to fly. Air is used to make sound. We need fresh air to breathe. All plants and animals need air to live. Moving air enables us to sail boats and ships. Air is also used for burning and importance of breathing fresh air. Breathing impure air makes us ill. 
we should not cover our face when we sleep. Early morning walk makes us healthy and cures all breathing illness. We must keep our doors and windows open to let the fresh air come in. We should also play in the park and spend time in open spaces to get fresh air in the evening instead of watching TV. Air pollution. Air gets impure in different ways. Factories release harmful gases and pollute the air. Vehicles give out smoke which is very harmful for our health. Burning of tires and waste also pollute the air. Germs in air cause illness. But these pollution need to be prevented. The utmost thing we have to do is we should plant more trees as they make the air clean and fresh. We should encourage our family to walk short distances and use bicycles to go to nearby places. Vehicles should be checked regularly so that they do not give out harmful smoke. We should use carpool or public transport to reduce air pollution. Factories pollute the environment so they should be built outside the city. Controlling air pollution will surely save our environment.